Hey YouTubers, been a long time, I know, since I've uh, done a video. Well, I've been racing, so that's been taking all of my time and attention and money, for that matter. Um, so I, I definitely have wanted to do another video, though, because I've gotten into some more Ghoul RC um, experience with uh, their equipment and to actually bring some more news to the... Uh, well, to the knowledge base, um, I've actually found that there are four ESCs that have the same build, the same programming inside of them, um, but they have different company names on them. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and go through a, a few of them now. Basically, I started off using the Ghoul RC stuff. I got a 150 amp ESC, and I ended up getting a 120 amp ESC. Um, and... Uh, I've, I've gone through a handful of each type and but basically now I've been sticking with just using the 150 amp ESC um, and now I found that they're pretty rare if not even on eBay anymore by themselves you can find the 150 amp ghoul RC ESC for a hundred and something with a motor well I don't want to do that and buy a kit and have a motor and another LCD program card that's no good for the ESC that it comes with because that was the other thing I was trying to get people to uh, understand was that the LCD program card that comes with the uh, pre-wired 2650 uh, KV motor and the 150 amp Ghoul RC ESC is the wrong program card for it to come with. It needs to be an LED program card for it to work properly. This one is a Hobby Star brand. Ghoul RC also makes one that's like this that has their name on it. But also, Ghoul RC has a second gen one now. It's flatter. It's got a silver grayish type face front on it with LEDs all on it and a little a bit of wire coming from it instead of um, hard connections like this. Um, so I'm going to go back to when I mentioned that there are four ESCs that look the same, maybe with a little discrepancy between them uh, and definitely different companies. So the first one, of course, that I came across was the Ghoul RC one, the all piano black. That's actually in my short course right here. This is very dirty, but it's um, for a good reason. It's been racing and I haven't had time to clean it. This one is a 150 amp Ghoul RC ESC. And um, what I ended up getting and putting into my eight scale buggy is basically the same thing, but this one's made by ZTW and this one's an SS Beast series. It's got a red heat sink instead of black and it's got a bit of a different fan, uh, fan shroud on it. Same thing though, same colored wires it came with, um, you know, same layout, the uh, centered plugs over here. And um, it has the same programming in it that the uh, Ghoul RC one has and can be used, you know, with this. So um, that's those two. And there's a, the other one, of course, is a Hobby Star one, but those go for like $100. Um, that's a bit of a ripoff for what these are. Um, as simplistic as they are as far as programming and things compared to like the Tekans. Um, but, you know, of course, the price difference uh, shows it. But anyway, I still think $100 for these basic ones is a little bit too much. Um, that one I got, the ZTW one I got for, uh, around 75, um, along, uh, you know, al along the same as the, the Ghoul RC one was about 75 or something like that on eBay. Um, the fourth one is Hobby King and Hobby King has theirs. It's called a beast series, I think, but it, it comes completely plugless and the wires are basically colorless except for down here at the heat shrink but it's the same exact looking piano black 150 amp esc with a um, with a sensor plug and the same length of um rx wire and uh and stupid on off switch with the the uh, calibrator uh button on it anyway so this one i got from jet.com for like 67 dollars it's listed on jet.com for about 75 77 dollars but if you're a first time sign up then you get like three 15 percent off first purchases if you use a debit card then that takes off a little bit um anything you buy that's over 35 dollars is free shipping so of course this thing is definitely more than 35 dollars so like i said you get about 10 or 11 dollars less on it um signing up on jet.com it's easy it's free it's just your email and a sign on password anyway um so that's basically this trying to say that this is not the right 
program card to do anything with the um, 150 or even the 120 and even the 80 amp Google RC ESCs um, and as well as the 150 amp uh, clones that are out here. Uh, this does do something though if you have your laptop you can connect to a USB cord to it and then this to the ESC and then this just becomes a portal. It just It's just an adapter to be able to connect the ESC to your computer and have software to program the ESC, uh, the settings in it, that this does. The simple 10 settings and they're even like right here on a sticker on this thing. And actually the 150 amp has the 6 volt and 8 volt um, BC voltage setting and this doesn't actually list it as 11 but it comes up as 11 on the display and then has 1 and 2 for the choice so 1 is 6 volt 2 is 8 volt um, this I know for sure because I can hear the fan the actual onboard fan on the ESC have a higher RPM sound on the second setting so anyway I figured that out that that was the voltage setting um, that's unlisted on not on the sticker so anyway uh, the next thing I want to say is I have actually been using a 2000 kV censored Google RC uh, motor and the thing has just been awesome and I saw that they have a 2250 censored so I got it it's 50 bucks instead of like 42 uh, and it has a, a nice amount of top end that I was looking for without having to change my gear ratio uh, the pinion um, to add the top end and uh, not have to do anything else so um, it's awesome. It's it's a beast of a motor too. I've already ran two races with it and it's just reliable and strong and never glitched or did anything wrong. Um, so I'm really loving it. And if it's anything like their other one, this one here that I've had for like a year, then it should be uh, around for a while. Uh, this is a Ghoul RC 550 can, four and a half turn, 4800 kV censored SCT motor and it is a beast. It is a beast. This thing makes these tires go like they look like CDs, like it's riding on CDs out there on the track. It is immensely powerful, uh, even for just having a two cell connected to it. Um, you know, of course, because that's what they run on um, in, in races. Three cells just bashing. So and it would be way too much for this thing. I think I'd derim these tires if I put this on a three cell, especially having the 150 amp BSC in here. So, uh, yeah, so that motor is incredible. It's five, uh, five millimeter shaft. So just your normal mod one, um, gears will, will go onto it. And same thing with the eight scale and slash fifth scale motors here too. Um, I've seen a lot of times that vendors that are selling Ghoul RC stuff will have the motor shafts listed as like three millimeter or something off, but they aren't, they're five millimeter. The... The translation between where it comes from to the you know English language gets so screwed up, especially across metric to standard, um, and uh, so I've basically been the guinea pig to just buy the motor and find out what it has. Uh, like this was a little 4300 non-censored SCT motor, and it actually has a three and a half millimeter shaft on it, and not a five, so I couldn't really do anything with it. This is a 1,000 millimeter or smaller boat um, motor. It's a 4300 non-censored. It's completely open can. Uh, not good for the dirt, so didn't didn't want to leave it in the truck very long. Um, and uh, this one here has a five millimeter shaft, mod one type. You know, weird. Anyway, so the little things you got to look out for. But I'm trying my best to, uh, you know, keep the knowledge out there for all these. So, anyways, I hope something in this new video helped you guys with the uh, equipment I you know covered again how this is wrong for these piano black 150 amp ESC's this actually works for a ZTW brand 120 amp S or it's one it's a 120 S is what they call it it's a tenth scale Turing ESC it's for drift cars this thing has settings in here for brake biasing and, and boost timing and th um, turbo timing and all these weird settings that these ESCs don't offer but the ZTW 120 amp or the 120S 120 amp ESC um, has all that and that's what the, really this belongs to so it's just really confusing that this comes with these other ESCs and is pretty much useless I mean you can plug it in and it like it comes up but 
all I've ever gotten is just error, error, error when I try to set a setting. And sometimes what's showing for the setting to be changed, the options aren't for that. It's, it's not the right program card. Totally not. So this is the one. Or that other one, the version 2 one that I don't actually have. Um, that's around $12 or so, I think. So anyways, um, that's pretty much all I can think of right now. Uh, other than not really knowing why I can't find any standalone 150 amp Ghoul RC ESCs out there. Maybe the company's going under or they need to re-up their stock. I don't know. Maybe they've lost the rights to putting their name on that type of ESC. Not sure. Um, their website's still pretty... Swiss cheese. It's unfinished and very uh, uninformative. Um, however, the ZTW website, you can get all kinds of info about stuff they have and as well as getting software to program the ESC through this card to your laptop, to your computer. Um, they have a little bit more stuff. Um, the Hobby King, I know they're around a lot. It's the Hobby King's website, they've got it on there. Um, info for it specifications things like that so um so yeah so I've, I've i like the way this handles the ztw one as compared to the uh ghoul rc one it, it does well it, it has really nice throttle control and um i'm going to keep using it in in my buggy and i ha i have this one for a spare i guess um because i bought it thinking i was going to need it for this but this was one of my first 150 amp escs i bought and then had a problem with the uh the wiring to the um, the uh, on off switch and I actually just threw it in the back of one of my boxes and then recently found it and fixed it so it actually works and I'm able to use it to race my SCT in um, in the races so anyway alright I'm going to cut it short it's already been 12 minutes and I think I've gabbed on long enough thank you guys I, I really do appreciate all the subscribers and, and all of the comments and everything it, it's uh, a really nice thing um, to have going so, uh, yeah, rock on. Share it, like it, comment, whatever you want. Thanks, guys.